I call uh, Marima Fox Mr. five minutes. Mr Speaker, my apologies. Five minutes. Thank you, Ete Mana Whakawa. Uh, ete Mana Whakawa, kei te pirangi au te mihi atu ki te minita e whakahaere nei i tēnei piri o tatau. Nō te mea. Uh, tēnei piri e whakahaere nei i, I a rātau e haere tuatahi uh, ki te ahi ki te aitua i rungi te huarahi kei te pirangi au te mihi atu ki aia. Mr uh, Speaker, the Māori Party are very proud to support this piece of legislation, this bill that will become law. Uh, I have a few friends who are in the fire service and the fire department, and I've asked them along the way, because I'm not part of the select committee, I haven't been able to hear the, the debate and the deliberations and the hearings, but I've been actively watching the report, and they've asked what does the Māori Party think about this? So I've gone out to uh, members that are of our whanau, who I know in the fire service, and asked them, what is the effect on you from this legislation? And what they tell me is that, well, it's change, and we need to get used to that, but actually, we think it's good. And so I've been buoyed by their support. I've been buoyed by the support and the work of the select committee and the report that they have brought back to the House, and uh, the work of the Honourable uh, Minister Peter Dunn. In Carterton, as uh, my cousin, the member Ron Mark, uh, pointed out, uh, there, the volunteer fire brigade is in operation. And if you've ever seen that, Mr Speaker, uh, what happens is that a siren will go off in the town, people will run out of their shops, take off down the road, and when I first saw that, I thought, what the heck is going on? They are just merely responding as volunteer fire service do. Uh, and in a rural area, these, these men and women, they respond to fires, they respond to accidents on the road, and they also respond as first responders uh, to deaths and murders and homicide uh, if they're the first person there. And so they need to be prepared for all types of things. And when I've spoken to uh, these firemen and firewomen who, who take up this duty on our behalf, they tell us that there are just some times they need to just step back and take a break from the things that they witness, the things that they have to do, and it is a difficult and hard work, and it is long overdue, the review of um, the first responders in the fire department in this country. And I commend the Minister for the efforts that he's made alongside of the Select Committee to ensure that this is the best piece of legislation possible and that we can uh, unify and combine the efforts of these, of these men and women across the country who respond. I'm immensely proud of the work that they do, and uh, across the nation, uh, we all know that when there are uh, deaths on the roads, the people who are cutting them out are our fire service. We all know when, when there is a full-blown house fire, you can see it across a rural valley in a heartbeat, you know the smoke rising is so black and dense and thick that that is a house on fire and the tragedies that they have to encounter and deal with are significant. I'm very proud of those people, those men and women who put their own lives at risk. In fact, we have a little, uh, we have a little joke that they put their Superman suit on when they walk into work and go out there and save lives and protect the public. And so I'm proud of the work that the, that the committee has done, and I'm proud of the work that the, the minister has done, and I'm merely rising uh, as a representative of the Māori Party to commend this bill to the House. Uh, and thank you, Mr Speaker. That's all we have. Speaker. I call uh, Brett Hudson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. It's